what's going on guys well blending so uber as i predicted uber is falling apart sooner than i predicted because of the pandemic obviously i predicted uber would be out of business within five years um and a year after saying that, not even a year, like six months after saying that, the pandemic kind of sped up them falling apart. Um, they just recently in the news, and this is national news, you could Google it, they laid off after earlier this summer, I mean earlier this year, it wasn't the summer, earlier this year, they already laid off like what, 800 people? Recently, they laid off 3,700 more employees, not drivers, employees, and um, with very little notice. They did give them seven packages and stuff like that, um, but very little notice. Um, one guy secretly, I guess, tape the webinar that they sent them they didn't do it even by mail they did it by some type of uh, webinar or whatever so that tells me that uh, and a lot of drivers are quitting a lot of drivers are quitting because they're finding out through the government stimulus they actually make more money sitting at home than they would driving risking their lives out here like me risking my life to give people essential rides to work. So I was already planning for this. So I stopped driving full time for Uber and Lyft. Um, Uber and Lyft, I would say uh, it's been a couple months now. It was right before the pandemic. So I think February was right before the pandemic. I went out and got a part time job. And I'm telling you people, I've been self-employed for over two years now. I did not want to go back to work. I'm on my way to work right now, the group home job I have now. I really did not want to go back to work. But here's how I look at it. It's a, another skill that I could take and use later after this pandemic. So that's how I'm trying to look at it. Because I, you know, I got my PMT, you know, my CPR, and very shortly I'll be uh, have my medical certifications. So I'm looking at it as a way to get another skill because you got to have multiple ways of making money out here. I still am part time Uber and Lyft, but very, very part time. Like I'm down to like maybe an hour after work and then maybe four to five hours on the weekends so basically Saturday and Sunday I'll drive for maybe the longest maybe five hours each day just to try to pick up an extra $200 that weekend and then in between during the week maybe I'll try to pick up an extra 100 bucks you know 20 here 20 there but very, very part-time. So if I lose Uber tomorrow, it won't be the end of the world. I still consider it money that I need right now. But like I told you guys on my main channel, Chennai Business, if you're watching this on another channel, I'm working on my holding company and my main business. I'm working on my credit and my holding company because I already know that you gotta have multiple streams of income. And then once my holding company has credit and fully funded, I'm gonna have to go out to real estate. You know, I'm probably gonna have a property before then, but I'll probably be renting or leasing something just so I have a place to live during this pandemic, you know? But um, I wasn't relying on Uber or Lyft before the pandemic. So, and it's not like I'm psychic. I already knew that Uber and Lyft was having problems 
you know, strikes after strikes. Drivers complaining they weren't getting paid right. So you can no longer rely on this company. Uber or Lyft. Now Lyft is kind of under the radar and they actually been scaling up during the downfall of Uber. So I predict that Lyft will probably be doing slightly better in this pandemic. And I've been noticing an increase in Lyft rides more so than Uber rides. I don't know if you guys experience the same thing. I'm in Connecticut. But depending on the areas I'm in, if I'm in any major city, Hartford, New Haven, Bridgeport, um, I want to say Bridgeport is a little bit more Uber, but Hartford and New Haven, hands down, I could turn my Lyft app on and I would be getting back-to-back -back rides. And I would never have a need to even turn on the Uber app. So that kind of gives me the feeling that Lyft's going to come out better in all of, all this situation. But I still think they're a flawed business model. Lyft is still a flawed business model. And they eventually will meet their downfall as well. Provided they don't change. If Lyft don't change, they will succumb to the same problems that Uber has. You know, and it's not just the pandemic, but the pandemic sped up the problems that they already had. They already had issues, and the pandemic just sped up their demise. So, what I'm doing in my main business is going to be my holding company. From that holding company, I plan on setting up my own transportation company because I already know that in the future people will still need rides and they need a better way than taxi and Uber and Lyft. You know, I originally thought trip rides was going to be that solution, but I no longer believe that. Um, they still haven't launched. They, they're in, it's going in a whole nother focus now. They're going into the food delivery industry, or they so claim to be. They haven't launched that yet, but they're going in that direction. Where does that leave people that signed up for trip to drive people? I don't want to deliver food. So people like myself have put in money and invested in a company because we thought this would be the solution to Uber and Lyft. It wasn't. So I'm going to come up with my own solution. I'm going to build and set up my own transportation company during this pandemic, build my own clientele. You know, and a lot of Uber drivers are like, oh, you should have been building your own clientele anyways. No, because really, that's really against the terms of service with Uber and Lyft to try to steal their customers. So I'm just going to do it the right way. I'm going to go out and go get my whatever I need. Uh, license, business license, certifications to basically be a like a certified limousine driver. And then from there, sign up slowly, sign up drivers under me and build my own transportation company. Where we will actually have a way that people can call in because old school people don't know how to use apps. We're gonna have a way that people can call in, order rides. And I'm gonna be doing this all during this pandemic. I'm gonna be working on this, starting with the holding company, you know? And then all in the background, my holding company as it's building corporate credit I will be doing everything else that it takes to get set up I want to buy a larger vehicle so I don't want this to be the vehicle that I'm going to be using for the transportation company I want this really solely to be the backup but I'm going to try to get a um, affordable minivan because with this pandemic car prices are going to come down which makes 
vehicles a lot more affordable. I'm going to try to get, you know, a van that's could fit six, six to seven passengers so that I can get a decent sized vehicle to transport enough people. And then during this pandemic, I hated going to New York State. I hated it. So now I don't have to worry about that during this pandemic. So all I got to do is focus on my state, get this set up properly, and then if this pandemic ends and Ubers have not having shut down issues, like they're still operating, I can still incorporate Uber and Lyft on this vehicle and still do my private rides. So I may still continue doing Uber or Lyft depending on what the situation is, say early next year, but I'll be getting my enough private rides that eventually I won't have to rely on that. And then I have my certifications, you know, PMT, CPR, medical certifications, maybe by then the hospitals will be in more demand. We'll see. Maybe I don't want to work for a hospital because it'll be more dangerous by then, but we'll see. I just want to have enough skills going on. And then while I'm working on all this, uh, my z Tegrity business, I want to expand that, get that going. Because truthfully, if I work my z Tegrity Z Black Car business the correct way, that right there should be enough money to support me. If I can make three to five grand a month, just doing Z Tegrity, that will fund my holding company. You know, while I'm building my transportation company in the background. So I'm doing multiple stuff preparing for the demise of Uber and Lyft. You know, and who knows what else is going to happen with this pandemic. I think more people are going to get sick once they open up all the states. And a online business is key. So I'm going to be ramping up my YouTube channels. I have three major YouTube channels, but I want to say I'm operating like four. I have Shania Business. If you haven't checked that out already, go to that. Check that out. Um, I should have a link if you're on another channel to go to the Chennai Business channel. Um, I got my personal channel, William Bootsy Blandin, and basically it's just fuckery, just what I do in my daily day life. Some business stuff, some, you know, crazy TV, fuckery, you know, entertaining stuff that people that don't want to hear about business, you'd want to check that out. Um, Real Wealth TV, which is solely based around Z Tegrity, Z Black Card, and any other operational businesses I do. Um, nice Guy Driver, which I'm going to put a lot of ride share content on there because whether or not it's just a transportation company or a ride share, that will be the topic on that channel. And Chennai Business. I want to focus in on building businesses, incorporating, setting up LLCs, establishing business credit, going into credit repair. I don't do credit repair, but I'm going to be talking about it because that's one of the key essential things you need for building the business. Um, so those are the three main topics I'll be talking about on the channel. Occasionally, I might put a trip rides video on there if they're doing something new or whatever but I'm not no longer promoting trip rides as a company it's my choice I might get some you know current supporters of the company that may hate me for that but until they actually launch and have a proven product I will no longer support trip rides I just won't um, Z Tegrity Although it is a multi-level marketing company, it's been proven to work. I've made sales with Z-Tegrity. Proven sales. And for those of you who haven't seen my card yet, Z-Tegrity, Z-Black card, metal debit card. Um, it's 
thicker than an AMX. You can get your nickname, your, your business logo, whatever you want to put on your card and personalize it. And they just started a new promotion where they're going to be going to graphic designers. You sign up the graphic designers and they get your customers. So you want to be looking out for uh, the CEO update on that. On my main channel, Chennai Business. But this is the stuff we're going to be doing. you got to have multiple streams of income or you will not make it in 2020. It's just that simple. And if you are home, if you're fortunate enough where you have unemployment, you got your stimulus money, you and your wife are making two to four grand a month, that's great, but you need to be studying. You need to be working on your next source of income because that money is not gonna last forever. Keep that in mind. So if you wanna sign up for Zetegrity, there will be a link below. That's one way to start. You're sitting at home, you might as well get started with something else. That's the way I look at it. You know, you gotta think about what happens when this government money runs out. I also hope another stimulus check comes out. I do. Because I could use the extra money. You know? And though my idol, Hustlers Kung Fu, Glendon Cameron, doesn't believe that we should be focusing on stimulus some people have no choice people like myself I have no choice but to rely on stimulus money right now business is slow you know jobs are scarce although I do have a job it's a part time job so I gotta be doing five different things to maintain I don't even want any more hours at my part time job because I need the free time to be working on my other hustles. I only work five hours a day at my part-time job, which is fine for me. I don't want any more hours. I want to focus on my other hustles, you know? If I work eight hours, eight to nine hours at that job, I would actually be losing money because I could take one day out here and even though Uber and Lyft has slowed down, I can still make a hundred bucks in about four to five hours on, on Lyft. I wouldn't say necessarily Uber right now, but on the Lyft side, I'm still able to manage to pull off a hundred dollars. You know, if I work four to five hours. So I'd be losing money by not doing that part of the day you know my job pays I work at a group home and it pays decent I'm making about $16 an hour if you want to consider that decent you know better would be $20 an hour but I'm thankful to even have that because it is another source of income and up to so far it's not like it's a hard job you know, nobody got sick as of so far. You know, knock on wood. But you gotta, you guys, people gotta really think about you need more sources of income other than Uber and Lyft. Because Uber and Lyft is not gonna last forever. But while it's here, I am gonna take advantage. I am gonna use it to my benefit. But I'm trying to ramp up my other source of income because I don't think it's going to last forever. You know, not that any of my sources are going to last forever, but if you have five sources, you know, and the likelihood of the other sources are going to last, outlast the others, you want to focus on those. You know, and the group home job, as long as nobody gets sick, it's going to be there. You know, um, Z Tegrity, as long as they keep maintaining on the course they're on, it's going to be there. Uber and Lyft, I can't say the present course they're taking is necessarily going to keep them in business, like laying off like 80% of their staff. So now drivers are in the field, they have no way of getting a way to 
get, you know, if somebody loses their stuff, I can't call anybody from Uber, you know, those less operators, stuff like that. But let me cut this short. If you guys haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate the support. Um, please give me that like, that thumbs up. Click that bell icon. And I definitely will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.